Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name is Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved onto a narrow boat called Nutshell. And here we are in a storm. There is thunder, lightning, rain and hail outside. Let's get straight into it. This is how the week unfolded. Good morning to you and welcome to Sunday. The Sunday where we're leaving the marina and going out on the cup. So Glenn is just doing all the checks down the back and making sure ropes are tied on where they should be and stuff like that. And then we're gonna get going. I'm gonna stick you on the top of the boat. Watch us as we leave the marina. I always can't watch this bit. I can't be on the back with Glenn. I can't be out the front because Glenn has to get really close to the boat opposite. And when I'm looking, I'm like, oh no, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. He never crashes. I'm gonna stay in here till we're out of the marina and then I'm gonna sit out the front and royally wave to people. And we're off. Just as we was coming out of the marina, there was like a heron and a bird fighting. It's very dramatic. Anyway, I'm gonna go and stand on the back with Glenn. We've done this journey so many times before and shared it with you on previous videos. So I thought I'd do a time lapse of our journey from Campbell Wharf Marina in Milton Keynes to Cosgrove. Everywhere looked so green and beautiful. The canal was a lot quieter than I expected. We only saw a couple of boats on the whole journey, but the towpaths were busy. There were lots of cyclists, joggers, walkers and fishermen enjoying the canal. Especially this fisherman we went past just as he caught this giant, it looks like a crayfish and it had these massive pincers. We passed this winding hole. This is where we broke down. Do you remember? Oh, Glenn shudders every time we go past it. We absolutely love these moorings here on the left at Great Linford. It is just such a beautiful spot. Past our friends, Anita and Lee, the time-lapse camera doesn't pick it up, but we saw loads of wildlife. Lots of baby ducks, geese and swans, and more hen babies that were so tiny, they just looked like little balls of fluff. The boat on the right was having trouble. They'd grounded out. Glenn almost hit that tree then, but he didn't because he was busy talking to the people stuck. Heads through Wolverton with its proud railway history and bridges that are home to many pigeons. As we approach this bridge, which is on a bend, we're just about to go through and ah, along comes Justin, our friend. Glenn stops and has a bit of a chat and then we continue on our way. Heading into Cosgrove. Lots of craft, all different shapes and sizes. On the right there, our friends Lavina and Mark. We have stopped and had a chat with them. So we make it to the lock. Still remembered how to do it, even though it's been such a long time. And I had to do it one handed because Glenn bought me an ice cream. Go through, no dramas. And there we go, just moored on the right hand side. That was a really lovely cruise. We managed to get a lovely space and Glenn is just gonna do some engine checks. No it's diesel not. leaks, no oil, no, no, hydraulic no hydraulic fluid, all good. Not a bad view. and welcome to Monday. It's a beautiful spot here. I absolutely love it. But we can only stay here 48 hours, two days. Glenn has got work jobs to do. He's got work jobs to do most of this week. Right, I'm going to take my tea and my flapjack. I mean, it is flapjack. It's not cake. It's like porridge in a edible format. Mr Warner's left for work. We're not going to hear from him today because he's left his camera here. I'm going to go sit out the front with him a cup of tea and my notebook and plan the day. And actually, as it's the beginning of the month, I'm going to take it a step further. Plan the month.
We moored under a tree last night. Not ideal. Glenn was stressing about the amount of leaves that were falling on the uh, boat. And I was like, ah, they'll just wipe off. We needn't have been worried about leaves. It was all the bird poo. Our boat is covered. It's not that lockdown's over, but it's definitely easing. My mum, because she's been shielding, she's she's been allowed out today. First time she's been out since the end of March. She took a little stroll to the post box and posted a letter. She said it was really strange to be out. I'm just looking on Twitter. IKEA's opened. That's five mile queues. Yeah, there's nothing I need in, in IKEA so much that I'd queue for five miles. It's good to see bits of our previous life coming back. No coffee machine for us today, but Glenn fortunately remembered to pick up some of that. Took the meat out too late. We're gonna have to have omelette for tea tonight. This is gonna be an interesting tea. So I'm making a cheese omelette. Thought I'd just do some tomatoes with a bit of pesto and I put the pesto in what I thought was pesto. It's not. It's mellow and aromatic green olive, lemon and coriander tapenade, tapenade. We've not had this before. I picked this up thinking it was pesto. It's not pesto. Anyway, this will be interesting. bit of cheddar in there, some parmesan and some goat cheese. I love goat cheese. Good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. When I woke up this morning I had to really think like what day is it? It's definitely Tuesday. I can't see you though so I just need to get my glasses. That's better. I can see you now. So good morning to you. Glenn's gone, he's gone off to do some early morning deliveries for, for Debbie. It's not even eight o'clock yet. Very, very excited about today. So Beth and Leo and Lexi and John are coming to Cosgrove and I'm so freaking looking forward to it. But that's not happening till later. But first, gonna make coffee. Gonna make myself a bacon sandwich, I think. Hey, all those cows are laying down. Have they not got the memo? It's going to be sunny all day today. Oh, one thing more. Last night, as it was dusk and the sun was setting, oh, honestly, it was like it was like being on a nature reserve. There was a heron fishing for ages. The swans came by with their babies, the baby ducklings, the cows came into the field and... Oh my goodness, it was just absolutely beautiful. I could have sat, I could have sat at the side hatch just watching for hours. Well, actually I did. I sat there for hours. Right, coffee made. The thing about having instant coffee is I tend to make it in this giant cup. That's not a bad thing. I've got some bacon cooking and I'm going to put in this wrap, which, oh, I'm using goat's cheese. I look for Jeff's chilli jam in the fridge, but it's all gone. So I had some of this. Oh my God, that's going to taste amazing. He said you can't eat chutney for breakfast. Oh yes, thank you very much. Righty, I'm off on a mission. There is a campsite here. Now the campsite is closed, but rumour has it the campsite shop is open. So I'm going to head off. I've got the rubbish. I'm going to do that on the way. And I'm going to go in search of this shop and try and get some bits and pieces for today. I can take my granny trolley with me. There's a gate somewhere here that takes you straight through, but apparently that's shut at the moment. If we walk down this lane, we should get to the entrance of the caravan site. So this is the end of the lane. And as predicted, 
let's have a look. The shop is open. Let's see if we can find it. Well, that didn't take long. If you moor at Cosgrove, it's good to know that that shop's there. It's just a couple of minutes walk, literally down the lane. The shop is a little bit pricey, but they've got to make a living and they didn't have a great deal of fresh food in, which is understandable because the caravan site's not open. So they're just catering to the small village and some boaters. So completely understandable. I've just got a couple of bits for when I see the kids later. I don't know what she's doing. She's, she's going through me baskets like having a nibble. Oi! actually five o'clock and dinner time we have moved the boat oh well, we've had such a busy day so had a picnic with Beth and Leo and Lexi and John earlier today and that was just so lovely so bloody lovely we've moved the boat down from Cosgrove to Stoke Bruin and we've got another beautiful spot no cows opposite sadly but yeah you can't have everything so we're sitting at the bottom of the stoke Bruin flight and or are we at the top bottom water we're one end we're one end no we're going up we're at the bottom we're at the bottom uh we're not planning to move for a couple of days glenn's still got a couple of days uh worth of work but we're here and I'm cooking dinner and it's going to be one of those dinners where I just sort of throw everything in. Got a butternut squash, some carrots, it's an orange dinner tonight. Got some Moroccan seasoning, may, may go a bit Moroccan, got some goat's cheese. Anyway, I don't know, I haven't got a plan for dinner yet, it will unfold. Right, so that's just a whole lot of veggies and a couple of chicken thighs and I decided to go with the Moroccan seasoning in the end threw it all in once that's nearly cooked i'm going to add some goat's cheese to that and it's just going to be like veggies and chicken it's not very exciting but i'm sure it'll taste yummy a light and simple bowl for you mr warner good morning and welcome to wednesday glenn has gone off back to bristol to move that big hunk of machinery he's going to be knackered when he gets back he weren't feeling particularly fantastic when he went so let's hope that that all goes to plan i am going to do some boat jobs today i think i'm going to have a go at emptying the elson i have done it before loads of times but glenn always gets in there first so i thought oh, i'll get that job done and we're right near an elson point so i'm going to do that and do the rubbish a friend of mine might be popping down for a cup of tea later so that'll be good oh i'm so frustrated pull the toilet cassette out lug it all the way through the boat get it to this point no plastic gloves in the boat i've even looked in the first aid kit as well i just don't want to do it without plastic gloves <sighs> You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to lug it all the way back through the boat and put it back. What a waste of time. We're off to Bristol today, pick up that machine that we couldn't get in last week. Um, I'm just up at Stoke Brewer waiting for Liam to pick me up. He's going to pick me up on the way to Northampton. Just picked up the van, got an off with Luton. So that'd be big enough. And we just picked up a pallet. So we're now off to Bristol. Unfortunately, no one's took it and he's left the blankets. That's good. So I think, that, I think the main thing is to get this big block in first. 
and see how we go. Right, let's put this out here. How cool was that? A Star Wars boat just went past. Love it. Yeah. Come back and give it a bit of. <laughs> <laughs> Central on the pallet. What's all this cracking about? Duck drama. These two are having a bit of aggro with this one. There's crosswords being spoken. There's one, two, three, four. And there's this one. We'll call this one the baddie for now. Go on, on your way. They're disgruntled. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I am hoping for a better day today. I was just a bit grumpy yesterday. I was just weren't happy. It involved around not being able to find some gloves. No, it didn't all evolve around not being able to find some gloves, Glenn, but that was a that was an impact factor to my to my frustrations. But anyway, a new day. And Mr. Warner is yep. in the boat today. I'm here, I'm, here all week. I'm here all day today, I'm not going anywhere. He's here all day today. So that is good. He's been busy this week. He needs a bit of a rest. We have slow internet today, which isn't good when we both run businesses online. It's just not good. And I've got a Zoom meeting later today with Milton Keynes Community Boat. Whether I can join that Zoom, we'll, well, we'll have to see. I'm reaching out to you wise people. I was just discussing plants with Mr Warner because I have a new leaf coming on my mini orchid. Let me show you. It's nestling in the Look, there. there's new new leaf there. So, I mean, what I'd really like is a big stem with some flowers yeah, these on. These are the stems that the flowers come on, but they died. Well, we're doing a flower check. Oh, we got some flowers coming. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought they were flowers, but I think they might just be new leaves. Oh, I might know. My peace lily is looking great. But what I want to ask you, if anybody knows, I've had this peace lily for... Yeah, it was in flower when we bought it. It was in flower when we bought it, and I loved it. It's doing good, but I haven't had any flowers since I first bought it. What do I need to do to make flowers come on with peace lily? So, I am going to go and get dressed. I am going to drink coffee, I'm going to stare at the spinning wheel of doom on my computer as it tries to load some video. That's what I'm up to today. So it is Thursday, I'm not going anywhere today. The other day we parked under a tree in Cosgrove and the roof was covered and I spent an hour sweeping it off. We had a bit of rain last night and the roof is now worse than it was before I uh, swept it. And the side of the boat is absolutely filthy. There's bird poo on it, leaves, dust, cobwebs. It's horrible. Anyway, got all that. I've swept all this the other day. All of that has come from the wind last night and the rain. Mr. Warner, where did the sunny weather go? Mm, it looks mm. horrible out there. And mm. it's, it's chilly as well, isn't it? We have just used our washing machine for the first time out on the cut. I know Wendy and Magnus used to use it all the time, but whenever we've been out on the cut before, we've just never used it. We've never been brave enough to turn the generator button on and fire it up. Well, we did it this time and guess what? There was no drama. It is so cold. I've had to get another warm layer out and swap my flip-flops to my pumps, keep my toes warm. How could it have been so sunny a couple of days ago and so grey and cold now? Honestly, if Glenn hadn't cleaned the stove out, I'd be saying, Glenn, get that lit. We're going to go back and get the car, which is at Debbie's, and then we're going to go shopping and then come back to the boat. And tomorrow, Glenn's going down to St Albans to see his mum. So we're just sort of hanging around. What I'm going to do 
while I'm waiting, I've just got out my art paper and my special crayons. And one of our viewers, Davey, he messaged me to say that another narrowboat vlogger, Anne-Marie, has an online art class to draw a rose. And I thought, well, I'm just sitting here, got five minutes, and never really need an excuse to get my crayons out. I'm going to give it a go. And today we are drawing a rose. This is a how-to video. Right, because I'm not using watercolours, I've just sort of coloured in a little bit. As you know, I'm still getting used to these crayons. Right, let's see what happens when I add some water. Ta-da! Really enjoyed doing that. I'll leave a link to Anne-Marie's class below. Glenn was just saying, my art's really coming on. I'm getting all arty. Anyway, let's go get some food. We're back from the shops we've got delicious food i was just saying to glenn there's nothing that makes me happier when i get back from the shops and i'm like cupboards are full fridge is full we've got good food we can be bobbing around out here for ages and no telling deb either but look i got these they were reduced to 99p each i just couldn't leave them there they needed to come home with me looks like winter out there gray windy rainy cold but let's not let that spoil this friday happy friday well some good news the gray rainy weather has gone we've now got sunny windy weather that is fine i'm just gonna go and check on my plants out front to make sure my seeds haven't like blown away or anything these beauties were outside in the well deck earlier but it was so windy i brought them in yeah, seed's still there. Everything's still there. Here is a vision to behold. It's a Mr. Warner walking down the towpath. He's had a busy week this week. It'll be nice to just chill out this weekend. Hello. It may not be almond slice, Mr. Warner. But it is a very delicious looking flapjack. Mm -hmm. I added nuts and seeds to this. It's gonna go. Right, let's go out for a walk and when we come back let's see if the tree is still there. Oh look. Another little black ball of fluff. Mummy's on the other side. so strange because you think on a sunny day in June this place would be heaving normally this spot is packed there's usually like a constant coming and going at this point well I definitely think we'll get a spot I think we'll be all right even in our 70 foot boat I think we'll be fine yeah look at these cuties made a salad tonight for tea and you know this is the first time in my whole life that I've roasted beetroot got it with some goat's cheese as well I think it's going to be bloody lovely good morning and welcome to winter to winter no I mean Saturday welcome to a very very chilly Saturday morning it looks horrible out there but we're moving the boat today seven locks five is it seven or five? I think it's five. 
I don't think it's seven. No, I think it's five. Scrap that. Five locks today. Moving from the bottom of Stoke Brewing to the top. Tomorrow morning we'll go through the tunnel and end up at Bugbrook. That is the plan. <laughs> We're going to be setting off in a bit. It looks like it's going to pour with rain, so I'm not going to stick the camera on the front of the boat. I'm just worried. We'll be halfway up the lock flight and it'll pour with the rain. I'm going to film where I can, avoiding all rain showers. I'm like, why don't we just stay here, Glenn, and move tomorrow? Glenn is like, no, let's move today. I'm like, it's cold, it's rainy. So it's thundering and lightning. We made it to the top of Stoke Brewing Locks just at the right time. So it was great. We had some help from Liam and Miramar and the boys today through the locks. So lots of muscle to help us. was a lot of water. Glenn is fixing our light because we're going through the tunnel tomorrow and we need all the light we can get. So we've got a couple of smaller lights on the front but the big one has been not working. All right navigation lights I'm on my way. Here we go. Are they working? 24 volt that's half power around 12 I think I've got a 12 volt. Right, Glenn's found a new bulb. Did it work? Okay. So that's the lights working there. A bit better than they were anyway. That'd be alright. That'd do. It's been a bit strange being out on the car, you know, having to get hold of the car and stuff like that. But hey. That fine. is good. I had a couple of questions. Couple of questions. Wait one second. You've got to look them up. You haven't even got them. No, 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 like, no, no. You're no, some sort no. of amateur. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people have been asking for the link of Miramar's foraging book. I will get that and I'll put that in the comments below. And James wants to know more about Amazon Flex. How you go about signing up? Just download, just download the app. Literally, just download yeah. the app. It's and called yeah. Amazon Flex. Flex. Yeah, and just download that. We have to apply um, <clears throat> for your region. I don't know where the local your local depot will be, um, but you need to fill out. You have to be CRB checked. Sometimes you don't get accepted straight away um, if they've not need any drivers. But it's pretty it's pretty easy, and eventually you will, you know, go down the list. Depends where you are. If you're, um, I think James said is actually abroad at the moment. He's coming back to the UK and he wants to, something to do when he's back yeah. so, so yeah it depends just where you are just your, region. your region you live at and uh, if you're not sure you can I think you can have a look on the website but have a, have a look have a look it's Download quite easy to do. the app we saw Jim and I think it was you think it was I'm Jay and I thought it was Joan but yeah, anyway, anyway from Red Red Wine hello we saw you a couple of times it was good to see you and to chat so thank you for your time the other day and i think that's about it we for this week you. we're going through the tunnel tomorrow you'll see that in next week's video we're gonna head to bug brook stay there for a couple of days and then we're going to turn around and do it all again do it all again on the way back and um, hope to be back in the marina next weekend mm. so that is the plan anyway that leaves just one more thing to say yeah hello vina Hello Vina and we will see you next week. See ya. See ya.